Oh my gosh, hello my coily companions. I know the last time I was on here might have been about, what, three months ago? Well, you know, you guys already know by this video why I have been missing in action, but I finally caught up to myself, kind of gotten into a flow, I won't say routine. No, because life is very unpredictable at the moment. However, there is a flow and I'm not fighting the flow, I am just going with the flow. And so now that I've kind of gotten there, I thought it might be time for me to do a brief update about, you know, how things are going. Oh my gosh, does anybody else do this? There's a song you like, but there's only a part of the song you like. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, um, anyway, if anybody else is like that, please let me know. But anyway, let, let's talk about hair first and I'll get with life a little bit later right now okay so first let me just say that my hair suffered extreme breakage when i moved here um, to jamaica to live with my husband and what happened oh god it's such a it's a long story you guys the devil and his minions came for me and my husband the week of our wedding i mean all stops were being pulled to keep us from coming together it was a wild wild story to tell but in the process of me getting here i lost my luggage uh, two luggage that i had some that had a, some of my hair products in it and some that had my clothes and things for me to live here because i'm gonna be here for a while and so that first week after the wedding i didn't have any of my hair stuff actually no wait what am i saying Oh God, it's so much. I don't even know where to start. But I will say that um, I had put my hair, I wore my hair in this Bantu knot out and it was perfect because for my wedding, I had a headpiece. And so I needed to have as much of my hair filling out the headpiece so it wasn't flat. So that's what I did. I did a Bantu knot out and it was so pretty. I plan to do a tutorial on it because it was it's one of my favorite ways to wear my hair now. Well, not right now because I don't have my blow dryer. You need a blow dryer to do it. <laughs> so anyway, after the wedding, I think I put my hair in like braids or whatever, but girl, my hair was so dry. I don't, I really actually don't know what happened because first of all, I live in the tropics now. So the, Car the Caribbean, the West Indies, you know, I live in the, the places where this is probably the best climate for natural hair. But for some reason, my hair is not acclimating acclimating no my hair is not adjusting quite well to the weather here which I don't I'm not even sure why but regardless I ended up taking my hair down out of these braids I had in a girl I'm so done with braids even though I have braids on in this video I'm done with small braids I'm actually done with braiding or twisting my hair till the very end I do something now that you'll see later at the end where I put them in little bantu knots or balls or whatever they call them now they're trending right now but anyway i had so much breakage i left my comb i left my tangle teaser i left so many things that were very important to my hair care routine just from the rush i guess i wasn't rushing but i wasn't really asking myself what is it that you need like i did i do have my staple hair products here because i did end up getting my luggage later it's such a beautiful story by the way, since I'm here, let me pause for a second. My husband and I are starting a YouTube channel called The Morgan Dialogues, and that is where I'm going to be sharing my story, our story of how we met each other all the way up to our wedding day, and then just a few other things that's gonna be really cool in terms of discussions and conversations, real life stuff, you know, and authentic, real, organic conversation. We're not talking about, you know, putting on, this is just like us in real time having a good conversation that we felt would be beneficial if we open it up to the world so that i will have the link in the description box below you guys can totally subscribe if you want to but that's where i will be sharing what happened <laughs> so anyway end up getting my luggage back by god's wonderful grace and mercy and that's where i got all my hair products from but like i said i forgot my tools like my blow dryer my combs my brush it's just a lot of things but anyway I suffered a lot of breakage so I already I have noticed that I haven't retained as much length in the time that my last mini braids were taken down not my last mini braids actually yeah, I did take them down after a week or so or actually a couple days so anyway um yeah so right now I am on the 
mend. This is kind of what I've been doing as of late. So you see how I'm twisting the ends? Well, I'm doing that now to just protect my ends. I can't trim anything right now because I don't have cutting shears. And because I do live in Jamaica, there is, there aren't, the access to a lot of things isn't like America. We're so spoiled in America. We have no idea. So, you know, I still, they have stuff out here. I just have to research and find where. Uh, my husband has been a really great support in helping me get things that I need that I normally have at home. But it has been a, an adjustment not one that I'm complaining about because you know this is what God desired and I'm good like we're good this is what we do this is the life of a disciple you just do what your duty is and make sure God's getting the glory and credit for it so not complaining but the adjustment has weighed has had some effect on my hair and so aside from that all I'm doing right now is washing my hair once a week or once every two weeks it just depends guys it's like i said unpredictable sometimes we're traveling a lot and so it doesn't you know i may only get one week before i can wash my hair for like a couple weeks so it's between every one to two weeks and i you know shampoo i don't deep condition although oh my gosh the camille rose algae mask the, where why have i not been using this like i remember using it for the first time some years ago and i loved it and i don't know why maybe i thought that my hair didn't like it anymore but anyway my favorite deep conditioner thus far i love putting that in and i let it sit for about however long it takes for me to wash my body and then i rinse it off i miss my shea butter so i'm starting to see why the benefit of foregoing water or water-based moisturizers why it was such a benefit for my hair because my hair gets matted tangled and locked very easily when i add water and moisture to it so i miss my shea butter we're gonna be trying to get some while i'm here but in the meantime i've just been using my husband's blue magic grease <laughs> he uses it so i've, I've been using that because it has some shea butter in it but anyway yeah, so we're gonna be trying to we're gonna try to look for that because I think I'm really interested in going back to doing that very minimal no water, like very minimal water, because I think that's the best for my hair. It really is. I felt like I just didn't have as many tangles as I do now. So anyway, in terms of life, things are we're adjusting well. I mean, my husband and I are like one person we have the same mind same thought patterns same like same i mean there's a lot of things that are very similar that we have in common like a lot and i've only known my husband for five months and we've only been married one month so you know we had a very short short courtship so you know it i guess for some people looking on the outside they might think that we rushed into it but when god is in it it works out and we have, I don't even know how to describe what we have. It's, it's pretty incredible. I didn't even know there was somebody in the world for me, you know, so, but the Lord. So the fact that he's, my husband's here, it's like, wow. But yeah, so I haven't told him about my YouTube channel yet. He actually came in during filming and I, I didn't re react. I was just like, eventually I'm going to share that with him. But um, in the meantime, I haven't said anything yet because, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's not, as, it's not, it's not as bad as I'm probably making it out to be in my head but anyway life has been beautiful um, we're in business together so we're working on business that's been really taking a lot of my time so I don't know when the next time I'll be uploading here but trust and believe once I get through this business phase with us just kind of preparing and lifting off and launching I will definitely be back um, but in the meantime if you guys want to see more more of what we're doing here um just subscribe over to our joint youtube channel i think that's gonna be a lot of fun i think you guys are gonna love him um yeah so that's all for now i'm probably going to scale back on re-moisturizing my hair during the week because i really hate when my hair re-shrinks and then tangles up again so that's the one thing but other than that you guys i hope you're well please update me let me know how you guys are doing what's been going on in your life these past two months that we have not been in contact or we haven't been communicating i miss you guys and i definitely want to do another coily code crown challenge soon just to reset my hair journey girl because I'm, I'm all over the place i forgot how i just girl anyway 
Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Let me know you were here. And I look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll talk to you later.